Hi, this is Milan Pollock and welcome to this lesson. Some people have asked me if I could explain how to add a more jazzy sound to your rock playing. And while I might not be able to answer that in one lesson, um, I can still give you a nice tool, um, which is called the bebop scale. The bebop scale is a scale that consists of eight notes. So in the key of C, that would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, B, and then the C would be the octave. So we have eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I'm going to show you two patterns. Um, the first one uh, I look at as like a pentatonic. A minor pentatonic pattern that everybody knows, um, and um, the the additional notes I add would um, give you the bebop scale. So I'm starting on the eighth fret of the high E string, and I'm doing this. So it's four notes: um, eight, seven, six, five. Then I go to the B string, and I play eight, six, five. Then I go to the G string, 7, 5, 4, D string, 8, 7, 5, A string, same thing, 8, 7, 5, and then I'm um, on the low E string, same as on the high E string, 8, 7, 6, 5. So the whole scale, the, the whole pattern would be... pattern um, is the actual C major scale that I guess everybody's familiar with and the way I look at the bebop scale um, is um, mixolydian with an additional note which would be the 7, the major 7 so mixolydian would be a major scale with a flat 7 and, and you have the major 7, you add the major 7 that kind of um, serves as a springboard um, so within this pattern um, the, the 7 would be right there of course and then here's the flat 7 so the pattern would be 8 and 7 on the high string 11, 10 and 8 on the B string 10, 9, 7 on the G string, and then 4 notes, 10, 9, 8, 7 on the D string, 10, 8, and 7 on the A string, and then on the low E string, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, go on. So um, the whole pattern slowly would be... Thing, um, uh, there's a lot of things that that make your playing sound more jazzy, such as um, the harmonies, of course, and the phrasing. But uh, one thing I noticed um, is that rock players tend to always start on a downbeat, like um, one, two, three, four, one, when they play a lick, while um, jazz players tend to start um, on an offbeat. So, for example, taking that pattern, you could do this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And two and three and four. Okay, I hope that helps and have fun. Bye.